30 meter shot and I'll swim. just in southern New South Wales at the moment uh, and we've just pulled up to camp and this is it I'll give you a nice little look I did what you did after a six hour drive and three coffees. Chris in the earth. I can literally see the flies buzzing around here <laughs> right now. <laughs> Tom didn't want to sleep in the same tent as me. Cause he thought... That's because he's sick and I don't want to get infected. His old man body, he'd be moving around too much. Mr. Smithers back, or oh, Mr. Burns back. That is cool. Jimmy's doing an audio check there on his new toy. Comparing it to last time. Because last time the audio sucked because it was way too windy. And neither of us had microphones and you could barely hear anything. Look how squinty I am. Look at my fucking head. Dude, I'm so... I'm so weathered. so much wind everything's moving so breaks up your outline you don't have to be as quiet then everything doesn't really sleep either they're sort of just always on edge because twigs are breaking you know moving around super fast yeah but yeah so at the moment just going to change spot and um hopefully turn something up go to another spot that we've been to the last time we were here last year and um it was pretty productive, fair, fair bit of pig sign and, um, and goats, not to say that it'll be the same now, but... It's a little bit lower lying country. Yeah, a little bit lower, a bit more sort of floodplain type of country. Last year was underwater, um, so this year it should just be um, nice green pick in there, I guess. Um, I reckon for the next couple of days we'll sort of be concentrating where the best feed is, because as you've seen from the footage already, it's pretty dry, everything's in pretty poor nick. Um, the station normally carries about 60,000 sheep and they've only got 25,000 on the place. So. And that's why they're mustering the goats, just to get a bit of money, because times are pretty hard for farmers in New South Wales. So, yeah, but hopefully there's enough for us. Hopefully we can just find one, a few. Maybe three. But at least one, one to three. At least two for meat, and I'd like to shoot a nice billy. 
or as I just love about two nannies. Two nice juicy nannies. Two emus. Plenty of emus around. Feeding me. Who do you say thank you to? The piglet. Is the piglet? Your wife, Bree. Looks after us. She does look after us. So we're sitting at the gate to the paddock that we walked last time. Um, last time there was no sheep in the paddock. And I think that was one of the main factors of what made it so good as well as it held a lot of water because um, it was sort of an overflow from one of the main rivers that go through the property. Whereas this time we've just rocked up and we can already see probably about 500 sheep in the paddock. And I was just explaining to Tommy that um, sort of the introduced species, pigs, goats, deer, generally don't really like um, shearing paddocks because the sheep or cattle don't obviously know or aren't smart enough to break out and get into the next paddock and go and use all the feed there. Whereas all the resources in terms of feed are generally more used as an expression um, in that paddock and so the feed's not as good so it's like well they have the option so why would they be there the other thing is it's sort of like when your cousins come around you're trying to sleep or you got little kids it's like you've got an extra 500 animals in the paddock so you gotta think if you're trying to you know that big boar or whatever is trying to find a nice quiet spot to sleep um, and you've got 500 animals walking around every time a twig snaps you're waking up and going oh shit you know what is that and you go oh okay it's just sheep i'll just go back to sleep whereas if you find a spot without the sheep which is simply just you know 300 meters across the fence then um you're gonna have a good night's sleep so i don't know just an observation um, makes a lot of sense Seen that four nannies. That's what we want. Nice and juicy. All four. Where are they? Straight out of here, they're walking this way. Those goats we just spotted are actually on the other side of the river. Like the ones we spotted earlier. Not sure why everything seems to be on that side. Must be better feed. Maybe better places to bed up and hide from the choppers that have been mustering them. Um, but we can definitely get over there. Thirty meter shot, and I'll swim. further than I'd like and um, yeah. worst comes to worst we know where they are now we'll come back tomorrow but 
when you look through the mob you can see there's no billies that's because the um the export market doesn't really care if they're male or female it's not like a domestic market where everyone wants you know steers or or um heifers and cows or whatnot um yeah they just pay for the heaviest animals so they just generally take all the billies because obviously carcass weight is more than a nanny so it's pretty common on places like this where you just see a mob of all nannies and sort of yearling billies but good to see the numbers are still there I've got all four in shot. Typical bloke behaviour. like all the high school kids after school on the oval. No, that's pretty cool. That's why hunting pigs and goats is good because you, like if there's a lot around, you know, you spend a lot of time on animals. Even if you're not shooting them, like you just get to observe them. Observe, observe them and just watch what they do. Their lack of ability to breathe through my Your nose. Your looks really good though. Yeah, thanks mate. Does it look like a mullet at the moment? Kind of. Looks good, I dig it. Keep the hat on. Tomorrow I'll be wearing a beanie. <laughs> I just uh, and, um, it was just one of those days, I guess. But at least we spent the. Uh, definitely picked the wrong side of the river yeah but undoubtedly at least we know though now <laughs> we know where they are we know what to expect yeah uh, we kind of had to come over here and just cancel a few spots out where we thought could be good because the they were good last looked, year oh look yeah and it still looked nice in there um, at the very start when we got here there was a couple of pig tracks and um, maybe some weak old pig shit but I'd just say they'd be passing through um, there is a fair bit of water around in little puddles and stuff so you know they can just be traveling for feed um but yeah no we saw heaps of goats so promising sign we can get some meat tomorrow and hopefully do a bit of a cook up it's planned now that's it head back to camp now and cook up get on the meat train get a little fire cranking yeah, sleep yeah. good we've been up since three this morning so we're both pretty yeah. tired so yeah, it's gonna be a good sleep tonight Looks like the rain might be stopping too.